Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry I had my mic turned off. Great introduction. Um, well, everyone knows how I uh, don't use the internet for entertainment at all whatsoever. I do not like having a good time, nor do I like to laugh. I uh, like to remain serious at all possible times. And uh, I found this very interesting uh, clip here from C-SPAN where, uh, well, let's just say... Uh, Big Pharma gets put on the spot and is forced to uh, to answer to the best of their eloquence. Here we go. Let's have a listen and a look. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, Dr. Boyle, my, my predecessor, uh, Congressman Weldon, was a well-respected, competent medical doctor. Uh, and a great deal of esoteric expertise on this subject that I'll probably never have. Uh, but I gleaned from him uh, some certainty that he felt the Marisol in vaccinations definitely was a contributing factor to, to autism. And, and I read not very long ago an article that it said until the uh, wonderful people like us introduced vaccinations to Africa, uh, the African children basically were autism free. They never heard of autism, never had a case of down. Are you familiar with that? Have you ever heard that before? Okay. Um, I, I wonder if the CDC has conducted or facilitated a study comparing vaccinated children with unvaccinated children yet. Have you done that? Uh, Dr. Boyle, I do believe he's speaking to you. Yes. The woman paying uh, attention. We have actually yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Turn your mic on. We've done a, a number of studies looking at the relationship between um, uh, thimerosal vaccines and autism and other developmental disabilities. And um, there have been since, uh, actually over the last decade, there have been numerous studies looking at the relationship between vaccines and that, that, aspects. That, that, of wow, a simple yes or no would have been great. Um, but as we trudge through her words... This gentleman, uh, well, why do I just keep pausing this? I'll let you listen. The CDC conducted? Some of them were conducted by the CDC. Others were conducted by um, How, how many would you say? Would you estimate? I, I, I would actually have to check what the specific numbers, but I know there were two. One, one large study looking at various neurodevelopmental disorders, um, and the second one that focused specifically on autism. Uh, and those were, those were fairly recently, recent uh, studies. Would you see that my office gets a copy of those, please? Of course, of course. I'd be um, do you believe additional study uh, would provide useful data in assessing the safety of childhood vaccines? The IOM has evaluated this issue um, back in 2004 and again most recently in, in 2011. Um, and, you know, their conclusion, again, it was not just looking at the work that was done at CDC, but with the total body of evidence, was suggesting that um, vaccines and their components did not increase the risk okay. for okay. autism. That, my, my time is very limited here. So clearly, definitely, unequivocally, you have studied uh, vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Simple question. Uh, we have not studied vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Oh, that was, oh. this, uh, actually, uh, never mind. So just okay. stop there. That, that was the meaning of my question. You wow. wasted two minutes of my time. Two minutes. Um, yeah, clap. What steps has the CDC undertaken to ensure the integrity of the research that was uh, performed by Dr. Thorson, uh, who, as you know, has been indicted for misconduct and misallocation of resources? So uh, the, the uh, um, uh, uh, Dr. Thorson, um, who was a co-investigator on a, a couple of studies that that uh, came out on autism, um, was really just one investigator, and um, that body of evidence um, related to vaccines and autism. Right, have, have you gone back to validate uh, the variety of studies he participated in? I mean, you know, this guy is a, a humongous scumbag, one of the most wanted men on earth, and you relied upon him for data so this, to divide. This, Owned. <laughs> All right. Sorry, uh, I got excited. Uh, to determine whether thimerosal uh, had a negative effect. 
So two studies don't, uh, don't conclude a body of work. Um, the body of work that's related, relating vaccines to autism is a, a large collection of studies. I know, but you, you told me you only had two studies relating to vaccines, vaccinated and unvaccinated, so you must figure two studies must have some weight. Uh, we're running out of time quickly here. Uh, you mentioned that you only have thimerosal and, and multivial. Uh, why is that? I was actually going to get that information for the committee. Okay. Uh, because I would think if they only have Bullshit. it in multivial, if they eliminated having it in all the other vials, there was a reason. There, there is definitely a reason, so I was going to clarify that. Yeah. There, are, there are single dose vials and multi dose vials. And they took it all out of everything but the multi dose vials. That's correct. Okay. Uh, how many multiple multi dose vials are there? That I can provide you that information. Okay. Um, I, I've seen a chart that ranks the longevity of um, the 30 uh, nations with the best mortality rates in the world, starting with Iceland, Sweden, Singapore, and on down. Uh, we didn't even make... Oh, where do you think he's going to go with this one? Do you wonder if Wonder Tits there is going to be able to answer his question? Let's see how she does. The top 30, we're the 34th, and ironically... We require more vaccinations than any other country uh, that's healthier, has a less mortality rate than us. Do you see any correlation whatsoever, either one of you, uh, to the worst, the 34th worst mortality rate and the most vaccinations to the ones with uh, the least required vaccinations and, and the lowest mortality rate? They also have children that, you know, past uh, age 20 in those countries, too. There are many factors obviously involved in longevity for any country. Uh, the one thing we do know about vaccinations is that they are among the major public health reasons why generations today live much longer than in previous generations. Blah, 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 blah. Looks like Wonder Tits there uh, got, uh, got upscaled by Baldy here. I guess she was out of her pay grade. Here, let's have a listen because uh, our friend's time is about to run out. They are perhaps the most successful public health no, um, listen, movement no, in the no, world. Nobody's talking about or against vaccinations. Well, I was just trying We're to talk about the Marisol in vaccinations. I was and, trying and, and multiple, you know, bomb blast of vaccinations in short period of time on on uh, very. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. My time's up. My time's up. I'm sorry, a gentleman's time's expired. Did you want to answer? No, I think I had an opportunity. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, oh. Then the uh, next person, the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Yarmouth. Wow. Huh. What did he say at the very end? Let's, see, let's listen to that again. Time's expired. Did you want to answer? No, I think I had an opportunity. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, then one of the. Uh... It almost sounded like he said, no, I think I have an opportunity, but I. I couldn't make out his words one more time uh very uh thank you mr chairman my time's up i'm sorry a gentleman's time's expired did you want to answer no i think i had an opportunity thank you okay very good and uh, then one of the uh next person the gentleman i don't know maybe i'm just hearing things but uh yeah there you have it uh all you have to do is ask the right questions and, uh, yeah, anyway, just going to leave you with that short little video. And, uh, hmm, they're dancing around the subject. I can't give you a straight answer. And usually when someone can't give you a straight answer, they're trying to make up a new one in their head. So don't be manipulated, guys. This is what they do. Take care of yourselves. For God's sake, take care of each other. Peace.